Hi everybody, I'm Amy from From the Cauldron. And you may say I'm a bit of a sucker for punishment because I'm going to try dyeing a, a cotton yarn cake again in this jug, jar, I mean. Now it was suggested to me that uh, I may have more success if the yarn is dry when it goes into the dye. So what I've done is I soaked this in soda ash and water for uh, several hours, I'm not sure how long exactly. Then I dried it and then I caked it up. <laughs> so what I'm going to do now is I've got Mermaid Dream, which is a fibre reactive dye from Dharma. You can see I've got my gloves on, I've got a mask on, and all this stuff I'm using is dedicated for dyeing. I'm just going to put an amount in this water. I don't know how much that is, I'm not measuring it. Just dissolve it in there. Hopefully this is a nice, I think maybe I'll add a little bit more. A clean spoon, dry spoon. I don't want to add any uh, liquid into my powder dyes. That is probably the color I want. I'm not sure. So pop that in the jug and add in this dye. Now that is obviously not enough water. I want to add enough so that the, uh, actually had an, had an idea. I don't want to dilute the water too much. So possibly this box would be better to, yeah, I think that's probably gonna be a bit better. So I don't have too much liquid. I want enough water in there so that this will be completely submerged. There we go. It might be maybe a tiny bit more. Yeah, there we go, it's floating now. So because this is cotton, it doesn't need heat to set, it just needs time. So I'm gonna leave this for at least 48 hours, probably, be, probably a bit longer. And then we can see if this has been more successful than my last attempt at dyeing a, a cotton cake, cotton cake, <laughs> cotton yarn in a cake. This has actually been left for a little longer than I had planned. This has been sitting in here for two weeks now. <laughs> Pull that out. Now I'm not actually going to rinse this all the way through yet because it's in a cake form. I'm just going to rinse off the ex excess dye. That looks really pretty already. I really like that. I'm just going to rinse this off a little bit and then I'm going to just lay this, sit this out to, out to dry. And then once it's dried a little bit more, I can wind this into a skein and wash it out properly. See, the water is already a lot clearer now. Now, when I do end up washing this, I'm going to do what I do with all my cotton, which is just put it in some water like this, and then I just let it sit there for anything from an hour to overnight, and then just rinse out the water and keep going until the water runs clear. And uh, since this is blue, it's probably going to take a while because blues tend to be a bit of a bleeder. But already this is looking quite clear. I'm, ooh, and it looks like we've got some pale blue in the, in the middle there as well. All right, I'm going to let this sit out. Hopefully it, will, it will, won't take too many days to dry enough so that I can wind this into a skein without stretching it too much. And here is the finished yarn. Now I had to unwind the cake into a skein so that I could wash it properly and it's, uh, considering it was a blue, it didn't take that many soaks to for the water to start running clear, which makes me really happy because blues can bleed and bleed and bleed. Uh, if we look at this closely, you can see you can see the lighter side which would have been the inside of the cake and a darker side which would have been the outside, but it's not that much of a difference. It is quite subtle. It's, it's a really pretty yarn. All the, there's colour all the way through and I think it's really pretty. It's a very subtle fade. So I think this is 
this I would definitely say is a success. And if I want to dye cotton yarn in a cake form again, I will definitely be repeating this method by putting the cake in dry. Because I didn't do that last time, I put the cake in wet and uh, the dye just couldn't get through to the centre center of the cake. I'm really happy that I tried this, I really, I'm really happy. This is beautiful yarn, I'm <laughs> I love it. Thank you so much for watching this video, I really hope you enjoyed it. Do please click like and subscribe to my channel. Let me know down in the comments what you thought of this video. Do you prefer this yarn where there's colour going all the way through or do you think the way I dyed the cotton cake before was better where all the most of the colour was on the outside and there wasn't really much colour on the inside. And while you're at it make sure you are subscribed to my channel. I produce a new dyeing tutorial every Monday. It's uh, published usually around about 6pm UK time. So make sure you've got those notifications turned on so you never miss a new video. Thank you so much for watching.